Hey YouTube people, Cameron here with the Sea Butters channel. Today we are looking at the Surface Duo, uh, now in hand, and we're going to be looking at how well it inks, not only with the Surface Slim Pen that you see a lot of times, it does stick magnetically by the way in case you were wondering, although not tightly and if you were to flip the device around uh, it kind of gets in the way of it shutting fully, so maybe not the best idea for a long term positions. You may want to put that in your bag so you don't lose it. But we'll be looking at how well it performs with this pen, a regular Surface pen, and even a third-party pen. See if that works. Uh, before we get to that, I just want to tell you that a full review of this device is coming as I have more experience with it. Briefly, I had an experience in a Best Buy with this device that was less than ideal. I was not excited about what I was seeing. It was laggy. It was not performing well and I was kind of turned off about the device. Um, but now having this device in hand, a software update pushed to it right when I turned it on. And so far my experience with it has been actually really, <laughs> really exciting. I, I'm pumped about this device at this point. I'm seeing the vision for it and you can do lots of cool things. I'll be covering that in my review. Please subscribe. But for now, uh, we'll be looking at how well it performs with these pens for inking in several different software stacks. Uh, such as Ibis uh, Paint X and also Aggie.io and in OneNote. So let's take a look. Okay, so let's take a look at Ibis Paint. I'm using the Slim Pen here and uh, we've got our other pens available just to be able to use them. And let's go into my gallery. And you can, you will notice that you can use the Surface Pen to navigate all across the uh, the screen and all menus it, it, just like you could with your finger uh, it kind of doesn't treat it as a digitizer point pen it treats it the same as a touch in general so let's go ahead and do a new drawing here and let's go ahead and do oh uh, maybe an HD size drawing here so the first thing we want to do is kind of test line thickness. So that's with less pressure and that's with more pressure. So the pressure sensitivity actually works quite well. Um, another thing you can do in Ibis Paint is actually this button here does not toggle the eraser. It actually undoes your lines. So you can undo your strokes with that button, which is pretty cool. You also have an eraser button here so you can uh, switch to eraser mode. So if you draw a line and then you want to erase it, just tap that really quick. You can erase and then you can undo with your button click. So that's pretty useful. Um, I'm going to switch back to pen mode. Let's go ahead and draw some uh, diagonal lines and see what that looks like. So it actually looks pretty good. There's there's actually not a lot of jitter. The waves you're seeing, in fact, this this almost looks better than my Surface Book 3 in terms of jitter somehow. <laughs> but it does work quite well. Oh, also when you're clicking the undo button, it has to be close enough for the screen to register that you push that button. Let's try really quick uh, the normal Surface Pen. And believe it or not, that has a little bit more jitter than the Slim Pen. Maybe that has something to do with just the Slim Pen in general. It, it is more expensive than the standard pen. So that's the uh, the regular Surface Pen. We'll go ahead and undo those lines. And now let's try our you know forty dollar pen, thirty forty dollar pen off of. So that one does still tend to get some erratic squiggly lines up and down. You can probably see that happening. That's not me doing that. That's just the quality of the pen. So that, that goes to show for actually getting a quality pen if you want to make clean lines. Now there are stabilizer effects that you can use in this software as well. So the Surface Pen better. But the Slim Pen really does a good job of uh, avoiding the jitter. Okay, so we'll back that up. All that looks good. Let's see what type of pressure sensitivity um, we can get if we increase the brush size. So light and then heavy. 
What if I can draw a little gradual? So yeah, the uh, there's actually fairly good pressure sensitivity here. So here's the kicker. So when you're using the Surface Duo, so the pen actually works really well, but let's go ahead and be smart about this and go full screen with this thing. Um, it actually works really well. And one of the frustrations I had with the Best Buy demo is I was, every time I tried to interact with the screen, it was like flipping it out, moving it back to one screen. But this is really good. Uh, the inking experience can happen on either screen. There's actually pretty much no delay. Look at that. I can basically just cross the line. No delay at all whatsoever. In fact, let me, uh, let me back up some of these lines so we can see that a little bit easier. So for inking, here we go. No latency issues between one screen to the other. They're both active. So, I mean, like you're going to be drawing across the line like that, right? But here's the real question. If I go like this, look, <laughs> it didn't lose track of the line because there is kind of a gap that's like not seen here. That's actually really interesting that it will continue the line even though... I wonder if I can draw right on the line. Okay, check this, guys. Back up these lines. What happens if I go like this? Nothing. Okay. I wondered what that would do. Okay, so there, you're getting a gap, but if you're drawing a straight line, it seems like the error correction is just bridging that gap for us. So anyways, this is actually the reason you would get a Duo, because you have a pocketable device that you can now really do some great art on. You have enough room to actually do what you want to do on this device. Um, I guess I'm not getting the best angle on that. So... But this is really exciting for maybe some artists out there who want a device that can do something like this on the go. Because you'll notice not only is it drawing really well, pressure sensitivity is good, um, it feels smooth. So if you, if you don't like a smooth screen, that you could maybe get a grainy screen protector. But man, this is really slick. Like it's, it's, it's really cool. So that's Ibis Paint Pro. So we'll put that down. Let's skip over to OneNote and let's go ahead and start a new page. And so there we are. We've got our OneNote. You put your pen over it. The keyboard disappears so that it's out of your way. You can draw. The latency in OneNote actually seems a little quicker. See how quick the line's chasing the tip of the pen? It's actually a little bit better. The button on it also acts as an eraser. You just have to hold it down. So that's for OneNote. Um, and that's actually, I mean, this is a Microsoft app, so you'd expect it to work a little better, and it does. It's just a little quicker than over here. There may be like some, this may be doing a little bit of uh, like line correction on in this app. But let's go ahead and take that OneNote app and make it go full screen. And now you can switch between your pages and the the Duo is so wide even when you're using just one screen that you can actually get, you can get full sentences. words on each line. So it, way better than something like, I mean, here's a, here's a Note 20 Ultra, right? So the Note 20 Ultra is not nearly as wide. It feels kind of cramped uh, when you're trying to write something there. So um, that's just your comparison there. So now let's pop out of uh, that and let's go to one more app that I think deserves looking at and that is, uh, it's actually a website so this will be very interesting. 
This is called Aggie.io, and this particular um, is a web-based application. So let's let's make that go full screen, and it's actually really easy to use. Um, so if we if we choose our brush, you've got all your tools on the side, and note that this is uh, this is all being done in the browser. So let's let's just go to uh, to a layer here, and now we can start inking. And you've got pressure control in here. The latency is is actually pretty good. Um, you can see on this drawing that I have, and you can you can actually you get a lot of real estate over here as you uh, play with this. You've got your pen size. And you can select on this left-hand side all your tools. You can use your eraser. Uh, and the pen, if you hold it down, it doesn't seem to do anything differently. I'm not quite sure what it's trying to do. Um, let's see if let's see if I can get it to do anything. Yeah, so the, the button in this application doesn't work, at least as far as I can tell. Um, but you can ink on this. Uh, you can, you know, play with your layers, and it all works really well. So, and and that's the kicker: is you're able to do all this full screen. So. Here we go. We've got this this phone size device that folds out into this really usable drawing tool. Because uh, when you really start working with something, um, you've got enough like it's kind of a square workspace that you're in. So if you're if you're doing your your inking or whatever, you can actually get in there and shrink my pens pen down a little bit. Let's go eight, and then let's get a black, so you can you can actually get in there and do. I mean, I don't know what I'm. This is this is my art, but I'm not actually drawing anything right now. I'm just kind of giving some perspective. You really have enough room that you can get in there and do things that you want on your devices. So that is the, a really cool usage for the full screen mode. And the more I play with it, the more I get used to the touch gestures, the more it works really well. And being able to use OneNote to take notes um, and switch between things on the left side, see you reference of where you're at, and then actually take decent notes because you have enough room to do so is a game changer. This is. I mean, this really feels like the folio concept. It, I mean, it essentially really is. But anyways, I've probably gone on way too long on this. But for you artists out there or just note takers who like to ink, who are looking at the Surface Duo, just know that I'm not disappointed with the experience I'm getting out of this device with the Surface Pen. So anyways, thanks for watching. I hope that you like this video there will be a surface duo review coming very soon so be sure to subscribe and see the latest on the sea butters tech channel thanks for watching